Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I thought I should put together a collage of our life in Pilot Point, Texas. So this is our house. It was built in 1890 and it's an all wood structure. And we've been living here for about four years now. And it comes with an acre and a half lot. And this is part of our backyard. We have more than 50 trees in our backyard and uh, quite a large area, highly treed. This is how the house looks from the back. And uh, we spend a lot of time in the backyard, especially these days because of the pandemic, of course. Now this is our living room. The carpets and curtains came from Pakistan. Most of our furniture we have collected over the years and it is antique furniture. Now this is a Bukhara rug from Pakistan. This is another one of our upstairs rooms, which has now been converted into my wife Jenny's office. Another cute corner of the house where, with a small table where we put our hats and sometimes flowers. And these pictures were taken over different time frames, times of the year, and usually the decorations are according to whatever time of the year it is. Uh, this is another corner of the living room. Uh, obviously, you can see that we love indoor plants and uh, try to keep them alive. And uh, this is a picture that one of my students had taken in our living room, and I think it's a beautiful, highly stylized picture. So that's why I added it. And now we are going back to the backyard to show you some of the shots of these large trees in our backyard and the front yard. And as they change color sometimes in the fall and we do get some fall colors, but these are just the trees that I love and uh, they create a lot of shade for the summer. Now you know that Texas has a very harsh summer and so make it pleasant to be in our backyard. We are pretty much shaded everywhere in the yard but the people who built this house planted the trees in a way that there is always shade and then in the winter since the trees shed we get a lot of sun and natural light coming into the house. So this is one of Jenny's favorite trees. It's in our back backyard. And there is a row of three large trees and this one is in the middle. And of course, this is another tree. So, and then we are transitioning into our wedding pictures. We got married in 2004 by the Ohio River. That's Ohio River behind us. Uh, this is a formal picture of, with a former university president. We were invited to some event at our university and we both dressed up in Pakistani clothes. That's Jenny and I. A few years ago, I think, we dressed up for another party and she wore a traditional Pakistani dress. Uh, I look kind of grumpy and old over there. And uh, so this is the, the art in the back is also from Pakistan, actually from one of my best friends. This is one of our very old pictures. I think this is 2005, we both are young and we've just been married. And that's when we took this picture. This is Jenny and I in front of the house. We took this picture about two years ago and uh, uh, some friends were visiting us and they wanted to take a picture. And this is Jenny with one of her favorite hens. We have now about 15 hens in our backyard and we have our own homegrown eggs. These are some of the dishes that Jenny has made, you know, in the last few months. She loves to cook and she can cook any kind of food, French, German, Italian, Pakistani. So I thought I should put a collage of some of the dishes that she has made. And of course, there's a baked chicken. And 
and this is a Chinese dinner that we made or she made, I ate it uh, a couple of weeks ago and then yet another dish or dinner that she made. So I thought I should just feature some of the dishes that she makes and you now please keep in mind she's also a doctor of philosophy and teaches Shakespeare and literature so this is something that she does on the side and enjoys it because cooking is kind of a happy place. That's our dog Beatrice. Uh, she is an augie and she insists that I walk her once in the morning, once at night, in the evening. That's our cat Isabel and she's actually Jenny's cat. She's very attached to her and mostly kind of ignores me. And now these are our chickens in our backyard. Right now we have uh, 15 hens, but only five of them are laying right now. The other ones are young, but our cats and dog and the chickens, they live peacefully. And actually it's the chickens who sometimes go after the cats. Uh, so it's a very peaceful existence in the backyard. And uh, as you can see, this is probably from this summer. And uh, the chickens are, they, they have the whole yard to themselves, so they roam. And sometimes go into our neighbor's yard, but since we live in the country, no one really minds. And that's one fun aspect of living in the country, in a small town. And here, of course, the chickens are foraging, even though we feed them, but it's their nature. They have to go looking for food. And that's Isabeau in her PlayStation in our bedroom. And that's just hers. She doesn't want to share it with anyone else. And now we are moving into my latest hobby. Uh, this is my leather work. Everything is done by hand, the carving, the cutting, the sewing. And I started it about, I would say about a year ago, just learned the basics and then started making simple things and went into more complex things. So this is kind of like a cosmetics pouch. This is like a checkbook cover and a very simplistic wallet, but of course it is hand carved. So it's not that simple, but these are some of my designs. This is another checkbook cover. And uh, what I did was my friends encouraged me to have an Etsy store. So I listed all these things on Etsy and surprisingly, I sold some of them. And this is a journal cover, a diary cover that I made for Jenny. You can see her initials there, JCR, Jenny Kaneen Raja. And this is a glasses cover that I made for one of my friends and then I made one for myself too. All of these items are made with uh, hand, of course, and with full grain leather, the best quality leather that is possible. And it has been quite a wonderful hobby for me because it's exciting. I get to design something, carve it, sew it, cut it, and then sometimes sell it. So all of it is a really gratifying to have a hobby where you can see what you've made and hold it in your hand and feel it and touch it and and know that you did it you made it with your own hands now we are in my office this is something that you sometimes see in my video the backdrop or the all the walls in my office are covered with books of course bookshelves and books and so I thought I should take some close-ups and some shots of my bookshelves. Now this shot, the books on the left, sometimes you see them in my videos. Now that's also one of the walls. And as you can see, I have a mixed collection of Arabic, Urdu, Farsi, and of course, English texts. And these are not just for decoration. I use them quite frequently actually in my writing as well as in my research. So I do have a really kind of eccentric kind of vocab uh, library. Now the top right corner is uh, Rumi's Masnavi, 
in Farsi and then in translation to the right. So now we are back in our backyard. I thought I should include some shots of our backyard. We have a few trees that change color in the fall. Now Texas is not big in fall because trees don't usually change color but luckily we have about four or five of them that go crimson red in the fall and so back to the living room you know we're jumping from one place to another this arrangement of candles and everything else uh, one of my students did it and took the picture and so finally we are back to the house so these are some snippets of our life thank you and peace and love.